Um, what can I say here except I actually uh, did a bunch of crap off screen like I normally do at this time of the playthrough. Um, there, I was having a problem with uh, resistances earlier. That should no longer be the case, and I'm going to turn my sound back up because I was farming shit. But anyway, I ammoed my Emprian bands with a bunch of resistances. That will help with resistances, obviously, and uh, I got an Angel Heart for the bonus dexterity and strength, plus total character defense, and, you know, the resistances. The reason I did that was because I will inevitably need more life leech, and uh, I don't want to have all my sockets filled with um, less important stuff. And I got a buddy. The Rasalka rune word is fucking awesome, and it gives uh, you the ability to summon a Void Archon. Now, this thing won't stay alive at all, because... In order for this thing to really survive, it pretty much I pretty much need to have dedicated uh, summoner gear. Because it's not like I have embalming or anything to keep it alive. And the reason I have it summoned at all is because it has an incredibly helpful warp armor aura. Um, you can see affected enemies turn like goldish. And you can see right there that their attack speed and damage is lowered. And it stops monsters from healing. Which I would say would be useful for Lord Aldrich Jatan, but um, he no longer heals himself. But, so, also, yes, I need to uh, get this to tier 6. And I got Ath and just a random shit shield for more bonus damage to Bloodlust when I cast it. So, that's where I am now, and I'm at 200,000 defense. So, that's excellent. And I know that number can go higher. And yeah, like I said, that Void Archon ain't gonna stay alive. And I refuse to bother with dedicated summoner stuff, because if I do that, then it'll take away from, uh... It'll take away from my ability to, uh, survive with, a uh, life leech. Unless I happen to get... I mean, actually, I guess it wouldn't matter. I guess I could always just, uh, MO it with, a uh, but with, um, life leech and try for summon minion life, but bonus to dexterity is far better. Or increase attack speed or something. And Spellbind is just awesome. I've shown this off briefly in the Boazon playthrough, but I'll be doing it more here because I feel it's more important than with the Boazon because that build had tons of elemental damage through, um, um, Dragon Lore. Anyway, what this does, is you can see, it lowers enemy physical resistance, defense, velocity, and, uh, damage. Hard points in the skill, uh, lower its, uh, cooldown, but, um, it's not, to me, so far, it's not particularly worth it. I mean, I could be very wrong about this, but... But, um, so far I'm just gonna leave it at one point and use it when necessary, like right here.
Oh yeah, the hunting banshee on kill is from this. In case you didn't see it earlier, I'll uh, I'll leave it up so you can see what all it does. Um, it gives anywhere between 51 and 100 to all stats, which that's going to be awesome as well. You won't be able to tell what the rune word itself does because of all the the crap that I have on screen, but yeah. Yeah, it's probably the best choice for the build at, at this particular time. Now, later on, if I ever get access to sacred uniques or elemental rune stones or uh, great runes, particularly, I've mentioned this before, the Taha rune in Fa Destruction Fosdenville, that will change. <laughs> Oh boy, I didn't know you were there. Get out. And... Ah. Uh, and dead. Now it's time to fight Diablo. Obviously I'm going to keep him spellbound as much as possible. Aha, just in time. And Defensive Harmony, along with Spellbind, is just unbelievably stellar. And he is dead. And... Yeah, I know, um... Yeah. Black Road Challenge exists. And I'm gonna actually collect all this shit. Because I'm still going to be jewel crafting. Like, through the playthrough. Um, I haven't noticed if there if any jewels have dropped. I don't... Oh, yep. Yeah, well, well, there's one. Here I'm looking for either... Well, 2% life leech and either... Faster hit recovery or 2% dexterity. Well, actually not uh, hit recovery. Um... Attack speed. Uh, resistances would also be nice, but... Uh, oh, oh. Okay, I... What can I throw that in? Throw that in there, I guess. Oh, I didn't even notice I had that. Signal to learning time. Now... I could, if I was to cheat, I could pull Akarat's Trek out of my uh, shared stash and replace Zealot Rush, but I'm not going to do that because I, that would just be cheating. And I don't expect people to just have every item available to them. So I'm going to play this as if, obviously I'm going to play this as if I wouldn't have those items, because normally I would not obviously have Akarat's Trek by now. And next time I die, I'm going to have to see if um, the damage that Curari does is listed when Bloodlust is active, because it does give elemental... Actually, though, wait, that's spell damage. Never mind, Curari wouldn't be affected by that. Uh, th oh, yeah, this gives a lot of cold spell and poison spell damage. And Curari does that much, with that not equipped, and equipped, yeah, it still does the same amount of damage, so just from that I just proved that um, Poison Spell damage does not affect uh, Curari's damage, which I knew anyway, but I wanted to sh prove that for anybody who would not, who would, who might think that. And yes, I specifically have indestructible on this spear because Christ repairing I do not want to spend millions of gold just to repair this spear
and I'm po and I know now that play or um pounce does not affect weapon durability. Thank God. Otherwise, I'd have to. Okay, fuck you. Make me chase you down with great hunt. Nope, not happening. Not happening. Even with no points invested in energy, hunting Banshee can be pretty potent. And, um... On a side note, I kind I like using Great Hunt on stuff that's immune to poison because obviously Curari won't do anything there. And yes, I have the uh, item drop notifier active finally. And now I can finally survive shit. I also have a sacred set of greaves in my, uh, my personal stash, not the shared stash of, um, D2SE, because I don't know what I'm going to make yet for, like, I, I want a different set of gloves or boots than Zealot Rush, but I don't know what I want. I could always go for the standby Nephilim, but I feel like I could do a little better. I could definitely, well, if I was to farm Fosdenville and get the Gore Rune, then I could always go for that, for uh, Reanimates. Resistances and some Reanimates. Which actually would be pretty nice for this build. And pounce. Actually, I don't think I got Empyrean Bands in the last segment. But yeah, I've already said that numerous times that that's what I would end up using. So, it's not like that was a spoiler to anybody. And if it is a spoiler, then, uh, well, actually it would still be a spoiler, but if it's a surprise, then you haven't been paying attention. Now, I can't wait to see what kind of damage some of these procs can do once I get um, once I get some charms together, particularly like Scroll of Kings, for example, because that adds some spell damage and Akarat. Did I do that? And yeah, Hidden Shrine. I don't don't care, Hidden Shrine. Abandoned Shrine I might care about, but I certainly don't care about that. Also, I got Tyrunes in to help with resistances, but uh, I don't think I'm going to need that. I could be wrong, though. I know once I get Asmodan, once I get Asmodan's heart, it won't be needed. Oh, rare Maiden Pike. Well, rare Sacred Maiden Pike, so I could craft if I want to. Actually, I'm going to leave that as an option. And there you go. And Frigid Highlands we go. And yeah, pretty much everything now is finally at 5% chance to hit. Now, I thought... Um, I actually thought warp armor actually lowered uh, physical resistance, but apparently it doesn't, so... Hmm. 
Now, I know for a fact that um, Spellbind does um, break physical immunities, so that'll be helpful when um, dealing, if you're gonna deal with Necrobots and Boston Bill. I'm glad I, I'm glad I decided to go with Kirari because it is, it is absolutely incredible against, or at least against non, uh, poison immunes. Okay, let me get away. Fuck you, get out of here. I wish to retreat, if that be at all possible. I swear them guys have like 300 peers. Okay, would you fucking die? I wanted to set up some hyena strikes to recover my elf. Oh, hold on. God damn OBS window, I'm moving it. Okay. Just die. You too. All right. And where was I when I fucking died? That one, that one motherfucking enemy. I think it was up this way, wasn't it? Oh my god, come on. Fuck off. At least I didn't die 10 seconds into the video. Like has been known to happen in this playthrough. And it's a good thing I didn't get hit by any of that, because I would have died. And I'm, I could have sworn this affected uh, movement speed, too. Huh. Unless I'm somehow con confusing it with Chrono Field. I know Chrono Field definitely uh, slows enemy movement speed down. And good job, Void Archon. You took the bullet for me there. Trinity Shrine. Complete shit. Every time I- every time that happens, I fear I'm gonna get an unhandled exception, and the game will crash. And another jewel. I definitely need more jewels. I wanna have every socket except for the rune I have for rune words, filled with a 2% life leech. Because I am aware that I need a ton of that to survive. And... I may take a trip down to Taganzi to see if I can farm the elemental runestones. And if I can do that well, I might do that for a new rune for a new rune word. Or maybe just new rune words in general.
I, I am noticing that my pouncing around does kind of, uh, kind of do an okay job at keeping the Void Archon alive. Which I do like. I don't, I don't want to constantly have to recast the damn thing, but again, not enough to, uh, want to have dedicated caster, or, uh, summoner here. Has anyone ever actually built an Amazon Summoner? I mean, it certainly wouldn't be nearly as effect efficient as a Barbarian Summoner or a Necromancer Summoner. But, uh... I feel like that could be a thing someone could do if they wanted to. Or maybe a combination of that and a Bloodzon or something. Gotta, gotta make room for, uh, make room for that. Also, de um, the stat, the drop notifier has an option to, uh, automatically turn on no pickup. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. Actually, I haven't, I haven't even been paying attention because I don't know where the waypoint is. And, let's see, where might it be? Where is it at? I know how to find it, but where's it at? Is it... I don't actually know, wait, that's not what I need to be looking for. What I need to be looking for is... Oh, it's that thing. Okay, so I was actually headed the right way. Oops. I mean, not that the waypoint particularly matters, but... Still, I want to have it. Um, if I want... By the way, if anyone knows of anything better, I could have, uh, MO'd my Emprian Bands and, uh, Angel Heart with. Post in the comments, because I don't think I could MO it with anything better at this point. If I could MO it with Minus Enemy Poison Resistance, like an XVI, then... Yes, I would do that, but I can't do that. Okay, actually, I don't think my... Okay, my bloodlust is not active, so... Let's see. Okay, and... Okay, sadly, Bloodlust does not affect Kurari's damage. If it did, that would be awesome. But it don't. And the waypoint's just right here. Uh, also, I just now realized I haven't found any land masses in uh, Act Four. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, find some then. Now, if I could reroll rares, that would be amazing. That would be incredible, because I do need to re-roll, or I would like to have re-rolled, 
a rare jewel until I got indestructible. Because I swear, finding indestructible is such a pain in the ass. Like, way more than it should be, in my opinion. And yes, I realize I could always just reroll a magic item until I find it, but still, it was easier when you can reroll rares for more modifiers. My god, don't kill me. At least it's not as at least their tremors aren't as devastating as the Dark Wardens of uh Ure. Let's, uh, let's see what these jewels might give. Oh, I don't have any oils of craft either. Crap. Two, I think only two? Yeah, two. Uh, no. And nothing there. I guess I could do, go with bonus all attributes if I want, but and it's kind of a meh. It's kind of meh to me. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. And let's see. Yeah, I definitely have more than enough uh, resistances at the moment. So... Yeah, let's do Neolithoc, and then I'll end the segment, I guess. Stormblast will tear apart minions. Alright. So, unfortunately I can't use Bloodlust on the Void Archon, because I'm sure you've noticed as soon as I switch out, it dies. Or switch gear, it dies. Which is fine. And the Hall's of Pain. I know where the waypoint is. It's over here. I'm going the wrong way. And waypoint. There's no now that Lord Aldrich Jatan is no longer here, there's literally no reason to have uh There's literally no reason to not collect the waypoint anymore. Cause like in XVI, when uh, Lord Aldrich Jatan was a summoning quest, and if you were to use 
if you were to use, if you were to collect the waypoint, obviously it would block out um, on Anya's. Uh, it would block out Anya's uh, portal. But since Neolithox no longer, or uh, Laj is no longer here, there's that's a non-factor, and everyone would only. And the reason people run this place, obviously, apart from the fact that sacred uniques are in high supply around here on destruction, is that um, uh, Neolithox, the guy to run for uh, Signets of Learning, if you wanted to go about it that way. Personally, though, I prefer. Yeah, thanks. Personally, I just like running the cow level, because it's good for hitting 121, level 121, and it's, and you'll get a lot of sacred uniques anyway. Obviously, after killing the Butcher, and after killing, um, Bull Prince at least once. And of course, I'm gonna do that with this build. Okay, can you guys fuck off? Fuck off. Kill all the avalanches before their cold attacks kill off my Void Archon. Also, uh, Void Archon, why is your health bar green when you're less than half health? Oh, it tells me Signets of Learning, too. I never knew that. I think that's about it for this segment. At least I only died like two or three times instead of like five. So, I th oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. So next time I think we'll be finishing up Terror Difficulty. But first, I will see what, what I get here. Nothing good there. Nothing particularly good there. And nothing particularly Tick, well, increased attack speed I like, but I'd prefer 2% uh, life leech. So that's going to be re-rolled, and I will see you next time.